Hey guys, so today I wanted to showcase Virgus, who is fantastic for Scarab King. I'm sure you've already seen videos or watched people do this on Twitch, but if you haven't, I wanted to make sure I put my own stamp on this as well. Um, it's been popularized since the last uh, round of Doom Tower. Well, actually, to be fair, the first one. Um, I think it was first brought up on Reddit, like most things, and then people started showing it off in U on YouTube and Twitch. Um, I do have a Virgus. I've had him built for quite a while. I did rebuild him for Faction Wars, um, and then again for Doom Tower. So he's a great character. He can solo the Scarab King, but I actually wanted to show you more than just him soloing the Scarab King. I wanted to sh show you a duo that you may happen to have if you're if you're doing Doom Tower hard like me. Maybe you're lucky and you have a Duchess. Um, she pairs really great with him because not only does she have um, the ability to put a shield upon herself as well? But she actually has a speed aura, so maybe you're not quite fast enough for Doom Tower 100 to be able to um, Doom Tower Floor 100, sorry, to do the Scarab King um, with Virgus at the speed that you currently have. So maybe someone with a speed aura is all you need to throw in there with him just to make him go a little bit faster and be at the proper speeds. Now again, remember there is that Doom Tower spreadsheet. If you don't know what speed you need to be at, refer to that spreadsheet. I will link it in the comments below. But right now I'm going to showcase the wonderful duo here of Duchess and Virgus. Um, I will kind of speed through it fairly quickly, but you can at least get the gist of the run. And then I will show you Virgus solo. Hey guys, all right, we're done with that run, right? All right, so that was 10 minutes. So it's not the worst I've seen in Doom Tower, let's be honest, but it's also not the best, but hey, um, it works, it's efficient enough. <laughs> when Panteris is getting through it, you don't have to farm it all the time unless for some reason you want that gear. They need to work that gear better though. But yeah, I mean, 10 minutes isn't so bad for a run like that when you're working with only two champions. Of course you could do this with more than just Virgus, but Virgus is clutch. You can bring him in as additional support with your team if you don't quite have the right champions, but you want to make sure that he can finish it off if everyone else dies. He's a great, great option. Um, so now I'm going to show you the solo version of this, and then I'll actually show you my build for Virgus and Duchess as well.
All right, and there we have it. Actually, not much worse than the first run with Duchess. Um, she didn't actually speed it up that much now, did she? So this is 12 minutes and 40 seconds, solo Vergus, floor 30. Of course, the higher floors, the times will be a bit harder, but yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's go take a look at my Vergus so you can see my build. It's not quite perfect for floor 100, but it is solid for this level at the moment. All right, so first we're going to take a look at my Duchess, actually. Again, she's great to use, even if you're just using her for speed aura and a little bit of support. Um, she does have a speed aura of 19 in all battles, 19%. She does place a shield buff equal to 10% of this champion's max HP for two turns on this champion and the ally with the lowest HP. So it's not going to be every turn. Um, but it's it's helpful. I have um, she is in lifesteal gear because I have her for clan boss. So my masteries are for clan boss. Um, not quite the same as some people who may have her built for arena, but I do have her built tough for clan boss and of course defense chest, defense or defense gloves, defense chest, speed boots because she does have to go fairly fast. And I'm looking for that speed substats mostly just to get her to the right speed here. I've got her in defense ring, defense amulet, and defense banner. So this is clan boss build all the way. I will quick show you my total stats on her. Solid defense, solid HP, the right speed I need for my clan boss tune. Um, and of course, I don't have her built for resist again because it's clan boss, but I know a lot of people go resistance for duchess. I will take a look at my Vergus now. I could definitely see building two Virgus just for the sake of Doom Tower, but the stats you need to get for 100 is actually pretty hard. I will actually sh highlight something unique with that in a moment as well. So my Virgus, of course I have in a destroy set for the sake of Doom Tower. Um, you know that Scarab King, you need to get his max HP down in a destroy set's the best way to do it. So he does need to hit fairly hard. I do have him with a decent crit rate. He's, again, not perfect. My Virgus is not perfect. I was lucky enough to get a quad <laughs> resistance roll on this boot. Um, I do, uh, again, looking for speed, HP, and resistance on almost all of this gear. I kind of prioritize that for sure, even though I didn't get 100% crit rate. But ultimate goal would be 100% crit rate. I have him a resistance banner, HP, amulet and HP ring. As you can see, now all of my stuff is rolled up, which I should do because it's an artifact enhancement event. So I think we have lots of room for growth here. Of course, Virgus is so great because of his passive. He places a shield buff on this champion equal to 10% of their max HP turn for two turns whenever this champion loses 10% or more from a single hit. So every time he hits, boom, places the shield again, hits, places the shield again. So it's like a great cycle. Um, I did put Masteries on him, of course, as well. I went down to War Master for sake of dealing with a boss like the Scarab King, and also the chance to counterattack. Virgus is a great champion for this. I, I had goals of getting my HP to 50,000, my defense to 3,000, my crit rate to 100%, um, and my resistance to 330. I'm not quite there. But I'm close. You can see how close I am. I'm really close. I think just pushing some of those other pieces of gear might be enough, as well as working on my Great Hall. Don't neglect your Great Hall. So I actually, let's see. Vergus is a great, great champion that can solo it. I mean, he will also help you in Faction Wars, so it doesn't hurt to build him up for Doom Tower. I know that they're supposed to be changing Doom Tower soon, so don't be surprised if we go to everyone starts building their Verguses or continues doing that, and then all of a sudden, they change it and we don't use him anymore. Want, want, want. But at least you could use him in Faction Wars, and I'm sure there'll be other places in the game. Like, you, you can use him for dungeons as well. I've seen him used in multiple areas. So I actually wanted to highlight something that you may or may not have known exists. So on the Raid Official Discord, let's scroll down to Raid. Where is the Raid Official Discord? La la la, there we go. There's actually this feature here, um... So if you scroll down, where is it? Where is it? Guides. Okay. So got they actually have this information here 
um, for guides. So you can actually just look up guides on random champions. They get sent to you via DM. So this is guide discussion. So if we're looking for a Virgus guide, it does pull up the guide for Doom Tower. So guide Virgus in this guide discussion part within the Doom oh, within Raid official Discord. You hit enter. What happens is it'll pop up and they will send you a DM directly. So here we go with the DM. Um, it actually goes into great detail about how to build your Virgus for um, Doom Tower. Now my masteries, I didn't do exactly the same. I should have. Um, I don't know why I didn't actually follow this. I'm really silly. I should probably go redo those. But I was trying to go for the chance to counterattack um, with this one. Whatever that is called again. <laughs> but I realized this is probably the smartest option actually. I need to boost the stats and I need to um, have lasting gifts for a chance of keeping that shield up even longer. Why not? Um, yeah, he's he's great though. As you can see, he did it just fine the way it is. I might actually go back and redo mine because I don't know that he can hang in Doom Tower level 100. And having the extra book here, Lore of Steel, to boost my stats might help a little bit. Although, correction, I don't actually have a set that that will boost. So maybe I will work it so I do have a set that that will boost. But we'll see. It is really useful here. All of this information is great. It goes into such good detail um, and it kind of shows what your ultimate goals should be. So there's a video on this build as well linked in here, but definitely go through. Definitely, definitely go check that out. Actually, okay, I'm wrong. 50,000 HP and 4,000 defense. Maybe I'm a little bit more off than I thought. Um, yeah, read this build. I need to reread it again, apparently. Um, there's lots of great information though. Don't miss out. Go take advantage of this feature. Of course, guides are, are what they are. They're a guide. Don't live by it 100% if there's things you feel might benefit that this doesn't mention. Do your thing, you know. Don't don't 100% live, live by a guide or a tier list or whatever you want to call it. Guides are just there to help help you with um you know, help you figure it out if you're stuck. I mean, I was able to do it on 30 without this, but this is this is a guide for 100. This is the late game version, so when I get to 100, I will probably struggle a little bit, and I'll definitely reference this guide again and make sure I change my masteries and try to push my defense even more. Hopefully, I can get there. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you like the fact of me trying to show extra features like this as well, and um, give Virgus a try. Go have some fun. <laughs> Have fun beating Scarab King. Thank you guys for watching.